I bought another car. Dude. What? What's up? What was that? That's a lick I wrote. Dude, that tone sounded sick. So I'm currently working on my IS300. I've listened to you guys. I'm getting it running. I'm doing a lot of suspension stuff. But for those of you who watch regularly, the way I do videos is not just like the daily style or whatever. I usually just don't upload until whatever I'm doing is done. We're working on the IS right now and I'm about to get that running. But I really wanted to make a video and I completely forgot that I bought a new car and then I haven't shown it to you guys yet. We also had one dog in the emergency room yesterday. My sister graduates high school tomorrow and my wife is going to have, or we're gonna have our baby in less than 20 days now. So I'm just kind of like, <sighs> starting to have to get creative for having to make videos now because I don't know what's gonna be like. So excited for you guys to see this. Um, this one's for the OGs. I bought another Subaru. It was definitely a purchase on a whim, so like, this was not really super premeditated, but we found this in an auction. I was like, dude, I have to buy it. Literally one of the most mint ones in existence. My favorite now. Not rusty crap buckets. We don't, we don't do that no more. Let's go. I'm not wearing jorts. I'm not wearing jorts today, guys. Okay? You're welcome. If I get these things dirty, though, Victoria's gonna kill me. I'm gonna be a dad in less than three weeks. So I gotta get more four doors. So I'm a sucker for four doors. And I'm also, as you guys know, or some of you guys may not, my roots in the car world were Subaru. Honestly, the Subaru WRX was one of my favorite cars ever growing up. I think more so because it's one of the most attainable dream car, I'm not gonna say dream, but it's one, of the it's one of the more attainable cars for a young car enthusiast to get. And so like my roots were in the STI that I built back in the day, the red one, the red hatchback. I've actually been wanting a, a Subaru or two since. I still, there's, there's a couple more that I want. I really want a Hawkeye hatchback or a Blob Eye hatchback. I have to build one of those in the future. Future. Really upset that I got rid of the one that I rebuilt off Copart, but I didn't have didn't have space for it. Like that's a big moth. So I don't have video footage. He was supposed to send me some, and I don't have it yet. Wait for a, a future video, and I'll show you guys some. At this point in my life, um, I am collecting cars, sort of like you guys are treating Dogecoin <laughs> investments, and hold it till it goes to the moon. As you guys know, I have my R34 over there, and I also just got this Subaru. Um, this is really sick because these two cars are parked together right now. Or they were before he did. Yeah, it's awesome. It's really cool. So there's really not too much of an update on my R34. It's doing the same old thing. It was posted up, and some there's another YouTuber. It's actually another YouTuber that used the stacked exports. And I can't remember who it was, but my R34 was in the background and it was, he had a name, I, I honestly can't remember his name, but um, I was like, wait, you guys sent him a video. I want a video too. Oh, I'm gonna text him right now. Hey, I'm filming this video as we speak. Do we have any videos or just pictures, question mark? I don't know if we have any videos. I'll double check. I didn't see the video. I am talking to you on video. So the pressure is on brother. <laughs> Trevor said BRB flying to Japan to make to take some video. <laughs> nice meme. So similar to how I did the R34 video, I know you guys are gonna have a couple questions, but you guys don't know I got this car. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys. I got a car that I have really, really loved because my roots were kind of in the Subaru world, the GC8. And I don't know exactly, I'm, they, there's different chassis numbers, guys. Rim, wheel, potato, potato, same thing. So GC8, I bought one of these and um, I'm particularly excited about it. And I impulse bought this car because it was the cleanest one I had ever seen. Now, a little bit of backstory. Subaru didn't bring the WRX to America um, until the 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 circ the circle eye, not the blop, the the hello, the bug eye. Bug eye! We didn't have the WRX here. We did have the GC8, but it was the RS, or not even the R, I don't even know what it was called, but it was the NA model. We didn't get a turbo model until the bug eye. It's gonna be super cool to have a non-swapped car. I also, because, you know, I am, uh, you know, we have a family, and also I think four doors are cool, and it's kind of a cardinal sin to have a two-door Subaru, unless it's a 22B, which I did not buy. That's, have you seen the prices on those lately? You, sir. I bought probably one of the most mint GC8 four doors and I got a good deal on it too. So I'm gonna, without without further ado, dude, I'm just gonna, here's a picture of my GC8 and my R34 together. Oh, 
look at that, dude. Look at that. I love the white. Look, white, the bronze, everything, so minty. I'll show you plenty of pictures here in a second, but I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about it. So basically, the way that this purchase went was uh, Trevor, my importer, JDM buyer, or RB Motoring, also the guy that helped us out a little bit. Huh, is that a monster already? The guy that helped us a little bit on the R32 build, got the long hair, looks like Tarzan, him. He texted me, he goes, dude, you could either do this for a giveaway or it's a good deal. We're probably gonna buy it either way if you don't. And I was like, hmm, that's a nice car. So I bought it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna do a giveaway on it yet or not. Here's the thing, I get attached to cars real easily. And that car is a direct competitor to this Evo 3 right behind me. Down to the little bitty teeny tiniest parts. Like back in this day, the 4G63 and that EJ20 was like, we're like neck and neck. And this car actually does make a decent amount of horsepower. I'm particularly excited to drive it and compare the two, but I'm excited for the Subi Rumble. Anyways, unlike the R34 story, I really didn't have to go through a bunch of crappy ones to try and find the gold at the end of the rainbow. Trevor really just sent this car to me and was like, hey, this is nice, <laughs> so I bought it. The big reason why I've been putting this video off is because just like it has been in Texas, it has been raining in Japan nonstop. I mean, they've probably been dealing, they've been dealing with similar issues as me, probably not like this to this extent, but they've been getting a ton of rain so they have they weren't able to ship the car or uh, they weren't able to take it outside take pictures and stuff like that for a long time so now I'm finally able to get that to you I'll plug them because Trevor's a wonderful guy importing is super easy if you find the right person it's very sketchy if you use the wrong person and it's very expensive if you go to the wrong company um, Trevor doesn't screw anybody over JDM buyer or RB motoring I'm gonna get to it I'm gonna show you guys some pictures I'm just gonna scroll through the pictures with you because I haven't really taken a lot of time we've been very busy I need a breather I'm gonna look at these pictures and check them out with you so I know that um, Subaru <laughs> the Subaru community is like they're smart. They know all the things about all the cars. So I'm, I might say something that's like a little bit off or wrong or something like that. Um, so I'm gonna try and keep knowledge to a minimum here. I'm just gonna reaction. This car is pretty cool. It looks mostly stock. If you look at the engine bay, it's I mean, it's really pretty, dude. EJ20. It's it's a, it's a stout motor. This is a 90 1996. So it's actually not legal until October. It's an October car, I think. So I'll, we'll probably see it a little before Christmas, maybe after, depending on if somebody wedges a freaking ship in a canal anytime soon. It's clean. Stock suspension, stock all the things. Having a clean slate to do very simple, tasteful mods these days. It's got a JDM, JDM, that, that battery JDM as hell, bro. I'm not super familiar, but I'm pretty sure that in like the, the there's like two versions of this car. In the later version, the latter half had the, had a more aggressive front bumper, I'm pretty sure. From the research I've done, I'm trying to figure out as much as I can before I've already like spec'd out wheels and suspension and I'm already getting a bumper and wing upgrade and stuff like that, like really simple, tasteful stuff. But this car also is very different than the 22B. I'm not gonna get into that, but the 22B is a very iconic car. It's an, I mean, it's an incredible, incredible car but uh, yeah this car does have the EJ20 these are actually pretty stout motors it's a simple looking car but it's like such an iconic good looking one and it's a WRX so this car is turbocharged despite its nature being in rally these cars actually weren't as lifted as like my Evo 3 was like this car doesn't look that high off the ground <laughs> but because the bumper is so short I mean you got monster truck clearance in the front which that'll change there's like some 22b style lips and then there's the later model front ends and stuff like that I'll probably end up doing that just because they do look a lot better um, but Let's go ahead, like the, the, the rear end really is the best. How do I get out of this, dude? Google Google Drive is the worst. Okay, dude, I really gotta freaking, this is the worst, dude. Just, everybody should just get an iPhone. God, it's got like the window visors and stuff like that, which is always kind of cool. Four door, beautiful. No rust or minimum rust. The inspection sheet is, is, is clear. Again, when you're importing cars, make sure you like study that inspection sheet. Have an interpreter, have it notarized. Like confirm the inspection is good, guys, because there's been a lot of people that have gotten really screwed on imports. Almost zero imperfections on this car. Like the Evo, when I got this, there's a little bit of surface rust, which is super normal. The rear end on these cars are so good. So the one thing I really need in my life is the 22B style wing. It's the one that's a little taller. It looks so proper on these chassis, just like the Evo 3, like it looks good. So that first thing that's gonna go is the uh, the small little wing, probably have Delira 
carbon fiber, the top forming and everything, like we're gonna make it look really good. I'm also excited because this is a new adventure. Although that, although I won't be doing, you know, a, a huge horsepower build out of this because I, I really just wanna retain the OE feel and look. I'm excited to know a new platform. I love cars. I literally eat, breathe, and poop cars. That's all I do. And so getting something new in my hands to give me more knowledge about another market is just like the best thing ever to me. It's like you know that feeling when like your favorite video game comes out and you just like grind it and you're just like, you just having so much fun. That's me with a new car. I'll show you guys under the car. There's a, there's like surface rust. That's what every car is gonna look like from Japan. But like, it looks really good. Cause this Google Drive stuff is not good. I'm gonna start geeking out over this, but guys, my favorite part is the interior. Let's open the door. There's the door picture. Check this out, dude. Look at this thing. Just like my Evo 3, this thing looks like a freaking time machine. Like, it looks like I'm hopping into 1996. Oh my goodness gracious, it's so good. As you can see though, it's a little high in kilometers. So 200,000 kilometers, 120 something, it's, it looks like it's 125,000 miles, which all things considered is still pretty low. I mean, that's that's more mileage than any of my other imports. Like my Skyline, this car has like 30,000 miles on it, which is like really rare. So that might be something where I could, for the first time, pull out my first EJ. Do simple stuff like seals, maybe new head gaskets or something like that. I'm not actually too sure on exactly what the JDM EJ uh, 20 needs and like what problem areas are. So again, like it's kind of a cool learning curve. I'm really excited because this is like the roots of all good things that came from Subaru. God, looking over the dash and seeing that hood scoop. So good. I'm be so pissed if that nab don't come with it. Sheesh. Oh, that's my R34 in the background. You can see it is poking out right there. I love the gauges. I don't think those are stock. Obviously, I don't, yeah, no, I don't think it is at all because there's there's a single den receiver in there. Got got a few poopy stains on the carpet. Can't have it. You can't have a stinky Japanese car without a few poopy stains. I'm pretty sure these are seat covers, but whatever. I would love to get some like Recaros or something like some old something that's similar to the three. That'd be cool. Those are actually all the pictures. I'm so excited, guys. I have missed the Subi Rumble in my life. You guys have been begging me to get another Subaru. I haven't wanted to get into a newer Subaru. I really don't like the newer STIs. Subaru kind of lost me after like 2015. I, again, I would love to get a hatchback or something like that, a wagon. It's a sunny day for once. Uh, it's gonna be sunny till about three o'clock today. So I'm probably gonna take the Evo 3 out, have some good times. But um, man, I just wanna tell you guys, um, each day I, I give daily advice every time I make a video. Um, guys, look at yourself right now and then look at yourself. Look, just take a look at yourself and look at how far you've come. If you haven't come very far, analyze that. Analyze why, why not, why have you not? And don't blame it on anything. Stop using things as crutches, you wuss. It's playing. But uh, man, look back at how far you've come and be grateful for even the littlest of things today. Roof over your head. I know it's it, it can be it can be exhausting constantly being grateful for like little things like that. You want to see big stuff happen in your life. I get it. I get it. I was there. I've been there. I still am there today. And you know what? If you look back at yourself and you wish you were who you were back then, then make a difference about it. Visualize where you want to be in life. Then visualize where you are right now. Take those two things, put them together. Okay, if they don't line up, adjust accordingly. Adjust accordingly, whether that's your schedule, your habits, like your eating habits, your drinking habits, your smoking habits, whatever it is, your, 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 your work habits, like something gotta change if you're not getting the results you want. So anyways, I love you guys. I want you guys to be grateful for today because there's a lot of good things to be grateful for, no matter what. My shop been flooding. I can't use this lift for 30 days. I'm a little pissed, but it's still a good day because I'm about to have a daughter. My dog's alive. She's hopefully okay, and you know what? Today's just another day where I have an opportunity to better myself. You guys have an amazing day, and I'll catch you next video. Make sure you subscribe and turn the notifications on. They're being really wonky lately, but uh, make sure your notifications are on, your push notifications are on, and th that bell is on. Have a good day, bye. Hey, I'm really far from the camera right now. I'm gonna get further away as I keep talking, but make sure you subscribe. And there's no teeth on. Also, watch those two videos in front of you. I don't care if you watch them already. Watch